Are you guys ready for day 35? Let's go! You didn't go. <laughs> What's up guys? I am Michael McAnally and this is Leo the Hiking Dog. For the last year, we have been planning and preparing for this through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Thank you for joining our adventure. If you're enjoying the journey, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We would be super thankful. Day 35, we're just about to enter in the woods and I got somebody screaming behind me, is that Leo? Is that Leo? So apparently we have a Leo fan coming to meet Leo. You're a lot bigger than you look on TV. <laughs> Hi sweetie, you wanna touch me? Can I touch your head? Hi, oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> nice to meet you. You're doing a wonderful job. Thank you great so job. much. You're doing a great oh, job. Thank you. So, yeah. <laughs> I actually don't start until Monday. Okay. All right, day 35. We got Tyler back with us. He took a few days off, waited for us, or he just got lazy, wanted to lay around, one or the other. So, but <laughs> so we're gonna do 18 miles today to a camp spot, and that's gonna leave us 15 miles into the Grayson Highlands tomorrow, where we get to meet the ponies. So I didn't plan too many miles because it, it kind of winds up in a weird, awkward kind of like, you know, if I do too many, then I have too little the next day, so. That's the reason why we're gonna do 18 and then 15. There's one shelter inside of the Grayson Highlands. You're not allowed a tent at it, so you have to get a shelter spot. So that's the reason why we left a very short day. So hopefully we can get there and get us a, 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 a spot in the shelter. Or, I mean, there is some tenting around the Grayson Highlands. You just have to be outside of a certain boundary. We'll see. But can't wait to get there because I couldn't be more excited about meeting the ponies. And hopefully Leo doesn't try to go after them like he did the chickens. But we'll figure it out. He's probably going to think they're big dogs. Chickens he's never seen before. And then, yeah, in a couple of days we got we got a, a really cool place we're going to be staying at that is an alpaca farm. So that's going to be fun as well. All right, we're going to get these miles in. And it's going to be a beautiful day today. A beautiful day for the next few days. We are five miles into the day, a little over five miles into the day. Uh, we took a little break. Um, we're walking right next to, um, I don't know if it's the Virginia Creeper Trail, I think it is, but it's right next to a river. So it looks like a bike path pretty much. And it runs parallel to the AT right here. So it's pretty cool, pretty beautiful. Pretty early in the day. We're gonna stop and have lunch, probably around 10 miles or so, and then start pushing for the campsite all right we're gonna get these miles in Been climbing switchbacks for about an hour now, going up in elevation. That blue blaze is up here. Getting close to that first shelter, but it's on a blue blaze, so we're gonna stay on the trail. And then we're gonna find a place for lunch. Uh, switchbacks can be annoying, but they're also a blessing because you're going up the mountain gradually, 
it just seems like it takes forever because you're going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and they just don't seem to ever end but i think we're pretty much at the top here it seems like so maybe the switchbacks i see are going down the other side which would be nice i don't mind them so much as going down all right we're getting close to lunch um somewhere around eight miles in for the day oh here's a sign right here yeah this is a, this is a blue blaze sign right here you see either stay on the appalachian trail or you take the blue blaze to the shelter but we're not going to the shelter lost mountain shelter six miles saunders shelter a quarter mile that way so we go we go this direction leo this way i gonna show you guys the sign. Yeah. Yeah. Virginia signs are nice so far. All right, we have completed over 10 miles on the day. We just stopped and had lunch at the top of the uh, the mountain up there. I don't know the name of the mountain, but uh, it was pretty much the top because we had been climbing and climbing and climbing. And now we're going downhill. So we could pretty much tell we were at the peak of whatever climb we were at. There's not any really big views today other than the views through the trees uh, i've showed you guys a couple of those but there's no like when you look on the map sometimes you see the little camera spots which means that's going to be an open view where you can uh you know make a really nice um you know or you can see you know really good that there's no trees but we're not gonna have any of that today not here in virginia at least that's cool um i'm just happy to be in another state and we're gonna be here for a while so uh just excited about whatever Virginia has to offer. We do have a privy coming up, uh, or not a privy, a shelter coming up. So the uh, shelter's at 16 miles. Uh, so we're about you know five and a half miles away from that. Uh, that's a little earlier than we want to stop because we want to save a short, shorter day for tomorrow for the ponies. So that's what's going on. It's a little chilly now, so I went ahead and put my, my um, one layer back on again after lunch um pretty much because my shirt i had sweat through it so it was all wet and when you're walking or when you stop in a wet shirt you start to get chilly so but anyway we're gonna get these miles in and get to this next shelter and then we're gonna push on to a campsite we're gonna be camping in the tents tonight got about five miles left in the day we're coming up on a junction with the virginia creeper trail again um i guess if you wanted to make things easy on yourself you could have jumped on the virginia creeper trail and not done all that climbing up and down and all that different stuff that we did today but uh but yeah no we're gonna stay on the at and do the at but some people might do this because like i said it would be a lot easier all right this is where we're going to take our break at and uh, there's a beautiful little bridge with the river, so I'm going to show you guys that. So this is the Virginia Creeper Trail here, where it's a bike path. We just had about six or seven bikes go through. Uh, people ride their bikes. I don't know how long it is. It might be an interesting thing to do one day. Just ride your bikes. You see, there's all those kids and stuff up the road on their bikes. But I'm going to show you guys the bridge. You see everybody down there? <clears throat> what a beautiful spot. It's 
good camping down there, most likely. All right, we are walking the section of the Appalachian Trail that intersects with the Virginia Creeper Trail. It only does it for like a little bit, maybe from like 0.2 of, of a mile, so, but we had some bikes come by when, when we first came down the trail, but we haven't had any bikes since. We stopped and took a little rest here by the river, but beautiful little section right here, and it's interesting to intersect with a different type of trail, which is more for biking than it is for hiking, but like I said, it just goes around two corners and then tucks back into the woods again. Get out of the way. Come. How you doing? the two and a half miles here we are getting up to the first shelter this is gonna this is a lost mountain shelter it's the first shelter I've seen in uh, Virginia so let's check it out um, bear boxes we got bear boxes back all right Nice little log cabin shelter. These are much better made than anything in Tennessee. I tell you what, these aren't bad. All right. These are nice, man. We're going to take us a little privy break here, and then we're going to move on to the campsite for tonight. A couple more miles. All right, we just left the, uh, the shelter there, the um, first shelter in Virginia that I got to see. It's a uh, pretty nice, I mean... We give it like an 8 out of 10. We stayed in a nice one in North Carolina, but it was almost brand new. It was like built in 2023. Privy was also pretty nice, so that was a, a bonus to be able to have a nice privy as well. But we got about two, two and a half miles to where we're going to camp at for the night, and that's going to leave us like 15. Tomorrow we got a big climb. So, um, what's the name of that mountain? Mount? Remember the name of that mountain, Tyler? Rogers. Mount Rogers, yeah, Mount Rogers is tomorrow, so that's a little bit of a climb. Um, so we're gonna leave a shorter day, but also we want to get into the Grayson Highlands and see and see the ponies and stay at the shelter there um, if it's a possibility. So we're gonna see how the rest of this day goes, or how the rest of this day goes. But um, we're told that the campsite that we're going to, um, looking at the comments. 
don't have a lot of flat spots but if you go a little bit further it says there's a couple of good flat spots behind a boulder so we're gonna figure that out as soon as we get there and get our camp set up all right we get these last couple miles in and then we'll set up camp Just came out of the field or out of the woods into a meadow. The mountain ahead of us, only a, probably less than a mile to where we're gonna camp at. Can't be that much further, but this is beautiful, beautiful open field. All right, looks like this is camp for the night. Finally made it 18 and a half miles. Um, we're gonna set up tents right here and uh, We get to see horses tomorrow. So that's pretty cool All right, we got camp all set up and we are tucked in for the night I'm gonna have ate dinner and fed Leo and we're gonna just uh, relax and Just hang out for the rest of the day and then get ready for a big climb tomorrow and little ponies So we'll see you guys tomorrow.